Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Tam from BotAcademy.com, and we have one of our graduates, Tyler, here. Tyler, welcome. Hey, everybody. Thank you. And Tyler, how many bot clients do you have right now after joining the program? Uh, four. 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 Yeah. That's amazing. And we, when did you join the program? Uh, when did the program start? It was like uh, at least two months ago, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was around two months ago. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. And yeah. um, are you comfortable sharing some of the names that you work with or the clients you work with? Yeah, uh, so my biggest client is Lewis House, a New York Times bestselling author, lifestyle entrepreneur. Um, I got Ben Malol. Ben Malol is a Facebook ads expert. Mm -hmm. And I'm working with other names like uh, Liz Benny. It's another big time online entrepreneur. I'm working with building out hers out right now. So, mm. yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'll, I'll ask you about Ben and Lewis because it sounds like those are the two that are closed and that, are, that you're actually working with right now. Mm -hmm. What is the story behind Ben Malo? How do you know him and how did you um, land him as a client? Yeah, so one of, the, one of the tips we get is, you know, just for your first clients, reach out to people who are already in your face, you know, top of the mind marketing. If they're in front of you and now you have something to give value to them go back at him. So uh, Ben, you know, runs a lot of Facebook ads. He shows up on my newsfeed and stuff like that. So I said, this guy is perfect for it. You know, he's a good fit. Uh, I hit him with my cold email sequence that I always send, but I didn't have to go so far. <laughs> and uh, once I sent him the video demo, that was it. Like wait, he wait, saw wait. it. Take a step back. So cold email sequence for those who don't, who aren't familiar with your own cold email sequence you mentioned yeah. you need to go so far so what have you been normally doing and what did you do differently with ben cool yeah so what i do is there's uh around a five to six cold email sequence that i send so i send about five or six emails in the span of a week and a half to two weeks mm -hmm. there's the first email which is me getting in contact with them everything's super short just letting you know uh i like some of your work and stuff like that and i'm not even pitching anything and then the second email is the demo. So I send them the video demo. Uh, it's all customized to just them. And that's what I did for Ben. Mm -hmm. All customized to just him. And he saw the video. And that's what I mean is it, it pretty much ended right there. He <laughs> saw the video, got back to me within like two minutes. And, you know, it was, it was good to go. He immediately just went, he was sold. I didn't have to sell him or anything like that. Wow. But that's just a lot of work. What, what was in that demo that... Um that made him want to say yes right away. You, you mentioned it was customized just for Ben. Yeah. So my strategy is I do a kind of like a quick, maybe 20 to 30 minute, depends on how big the business is. I, I like to see what all they're selling, what all they're working on, stuff like that. And then I try to show them the value. So basically what I do is in my demo, I show them the growth tool that we're using. I'll do a specific one to just them. And then, I'll talk it through and stuff like that. But the big hitter is showing that I, it could sell a product within seconds. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about Lewis and stuff like that. Cause his is probably, you know, just as powerful, but with Ben, he's very big on webinars. So my sequence I showed him, I was like, look, I can get people on your webinar in 30 seconds on Facebook messenger. So, you know, mm -hmm. right there immediately to him, that's like, Hey, you know, I can run a Facebook ad, but now these people can stay right here. Instead of spending days, I could get them on there in 30 seconds. Oh, that was the angle. That yeah. was, instead of making more physical ads for the same people who were in the webinar, just have them sign up to your bot and exactly. the follow up through there. Exactly. Yeah, because, you know, he has, a, he has an email sequence goes on for about five days. Uh, but, you know, we, everybody knows by now that open rates and click rates for messenger bots is much higher. So you get that engagement going right away and you can go for a quick hitter. And that's what I did with that one. I said, look at what we could do within seconds. Yeah, how many more attendees? So, yeah, he, he that's sold awesome. on it. That's amazing because you, you researched him and his business. You were a fan of his work. You made a customized bot for him and sent emails towards him. Uh, cold, the gold message number one and then the demo number two. So mm -hmm. people might think on the outside, like watching this, like, whoa, like I can get a client. Like it's actually a lot of work, it's a lot of work to, to, to put into to, to, um, actually landing a client. And, yeah. and just, to, just on that note, I want to move on to Lewis Howes because for those who are not familiar with Lewis, I know him as a very big podcaster, like big influencer, has his own book, School of Greatness, um, tons of people trying to demand his attention. What did you do differently to get his attention? <laughs> yeah, so Lewis is, Lewis is someone who's um, 
you know, he's had a pretty big impact on me, like my senior year of college and stuff like that. Just listening to his podcast and stuff get, got me through some decently rough times, you know. So uh, you always, you know, when you're a college student and stuff like that, you're trying to figure out how to give value to people and stuff like that. And you just want to give an impact on the world. That's what Lewis preaches, right? And so once I finally took this course, you know, I was like, holy cow, I can actually give value to these people that I, I, I look up to, I listen to all the time. So same thing, cold email sequence. Um, Lewis, you know, these big time names, you find their email, they'll still open it, right? They care about their audience. So yes, I sent the same thing. I said, hey, I love your work. I gave a specific example of a podcast that was my favorite. And then, you know, I waited for a reply, got a, got a reply within like, 10 minutes and then you just wait a few days video demo they didn't respond to the video demo lewis actually went through the entire email sequence <laughs> personally yeah yeah uh wow. so what i had to fire out my sorry, sorry the email sequence or the bot sequence the email sequence so mm. i had to i had to give my whole arsenal to try and get lewis as a client <laughs> mm. um cool continue the story keep going yeah yeah so Basically, after video, after video, which is the second email, what I do is if they, I can track whether they've watched the video or not, and I customize my emails just a bit to that. So my third email, again, is really short, just says, hey, check it in. Just wanted to see if you saw this bot video I sent to you, and I send a link to it again. I keep it short. He's a busy man. Uh, fourth email says anything else. So the fourth email is designed, even if they haven't watched the video, I send the same thing. The fourth email is, is there something from the video that, you, is there something you want to see more of? It's just another reminder, even if they haven't watched the video, hey, this video is directed just towards you. Like, I, I customize this to you. So by wording it and saying, hey, is there anything from the video that you want to see more of? Is there anything you missed? Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then the fifth email is kind of like my, my, my gold slugger email. It's the, it's the goodbye or sale. So, mm. yeah, the, the fifth email is probably my most powerful one, I guess, the highest response rate I get. And it, it's a quick one, and it says, just want to know, or something like that. And whether they watched it or not, uh, I customize it. So if they haven't watched it, I say, hey, why didn't you just want to know one reason why you didn't want to watch the email? I just, uh, the video, I just want to get your feedback so I can get better. Mm. Thanks for everything you do. Thanks, Tyler. I sent that, and then... <laughs> My phone just blew up. Like within minutes, mm. uh, I got a notification. He watched the video. I got notifications that his team members were responding to me. He responded to me. Like probably the span of eight minutes or so, I had him and a team member respond to me, and the video had three views. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, three it's, views. Exactly. It doesn't matter the quantity, it's matter the quality of people watching it. Exactly. But when it's Lewis Howes watching it, that's when you know you're on to something. For me, that's what I was like, all right. Wow, that's amazing. So you're in the process now of building their bots for them. Yeah, yeah. They wanted to do a, a quick start, you know. Uh, there's more stuff we want to build out over time, like a sequence and stuff like that. But they just want immediate kind of sell their lower-end product stuff, and then we build slowly into the higher end. So he has a book. He has – t-shirts and stuff we don't know how much of his audience is even aware of that right so if you yeah. put that stuff in the bot it kind of brings up this brings up the blind side of his business i guess i would say hmm. that's so cool and you did this all within two months of joining bot academy yeah exactly as soon as as soon as i knew how to outreach those clients i mean i had that in my back pocket so i went straight for him <laughs> that is freaking awesome and there's a lot of people watching this who might be a little hesitant, like on the fence. They might be thinking about joining Bot Academy. They might be thinking about even just um, stepping in with chatbots as a whole. Do you have any worries you want to say to someone who's like on the fence about this? Yeah. If you are considering this and you want to figure it out, try to figure it out on your own, that's a mindset that I considered. This, this whole course speeds it up so much. Like within weeks, you know how to build a bot that is not just a bot, it sells, like it sells for these people. And that's what businesses are, right? You want to sell your stuff, sell your products, sell your services. And once you have that power and then you take the course on how to get clients, the biggest thing is just taking the action. You got to, you got to put in some work up front. They're not just going to come flock to you, but mm -hmm. the course pays for itself so quickly. And the, the amount of outreach in the long term, like reaching out to these people, 
like Lewis Howes is incredible. So if you if you're debating taking the course, you got to take the course. Like <laughs> if you if you want to fast track this and get get right into it and get some success, like there's no better resource out there. Awesome. Thanks so much, Tyler, for this. I appreciate it. And for people watching this, how can they get in contact with you or find you on, on online or on the internet? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Just look at my name, I guess. Add me on Facebook. It's Tyler Hillens. H-I-L-L-A-N is the last name. Uh, you can add me on Facebook. That's pretty much where I'm at. No website or anything. So <laughs> just add wow. me on there, man. Just, just that one note. I want to end it on that. Like, even without a website, you can still land a huge, you know, huge client. It's just the way... If you follow the system, we follow the process. Um, exactly, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your story. No problem.